Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the 75 soft challenge. So I will be starting this challenge. So we'll go over what it is, the rules, what I'm going to be doing while on this challenge. We'll talk about when I'm going to be starting and finishing this challenge and why. And if you stick around till the end, you'll find out exactly what kind of challenges this is going to pose on me. Over the last few years, more and more people have been taking a direct hands-on approach to improving their health, whether that means taking their stress and mental health into consideration by practicing yoga or meditation techniques, or doing more home workouts to improve their cardiovascular health. So it's no wonder that the 75 soft and hard challenges have been created. 75 soft and hard challenges are a way to help keep us accountable to things like diet, exercise, and mental health. So it is 75 Soft. Well, 75 Soft Challenge was created based on the 75 Hard Challenge. It's a less aggressive challenge, but it is based on the tenets of 75 Hard. So it's less aggressive than the 75 Hard Challenge, but it is still a big time commitment because you do still have some components that do require time throughout your day. So let's go over the differences between the 75 hard and the 75 soft. So the 75 hard challenge is quite a hefty challenge and most people end up failing the challenge. There are a lot of people that do end up succeeding, but for 75 days straight, you do need to complete these tasks. And they are exercise for 45 minutes twice a day with one must be outside. Keep to a strict diet of your choice. So that could be paleo, keto, vegetarian, veganism. Doesn't matter what your diet is, but you must stick to it with no cheat days and no alcohol. Drink a gallon of water every day read at least 10 pages of a non-fiction book every day, and it must be in hardcover format. Take a progress photo every day. And if you miss any of these steps for any reason, at any point, you must start over. So that means if you're on day 70 and you forget your progress photo, start back at the beginning. Now, what is the 75 soft challenge? The 75 soft challenge is one 45 minute session of exercise per day. Could be indoor or out. Stick to a diet of your choice. You can drink alcohol on social occasions. Drink three liters of water every day. Read 10 pages of any book. And there is no component that if you fail any part of those challenges, so if you missed reading, for example, that you would have to start over. So there's no fail component. So as you can see, it is a much easier, less aggressive version than the 75 hard challenge. So a lot of people obviously start with the 75 soft challenge first before they go into or progress to the 75 hard if they even bother to do the 75 hard. My favorite part of the 75 soft challenge is that it includes as part of the challenge one active rest day per week as well. So you have 45 minutes of exercise per day with one active rest day per week. I like that it encourages rest because rest is very important for your body to recover. Now this could mean gentle walking, a yoga or Pilates class. The active rest is up to you. 75 soft allows for flexibility and allows you to be mindful. So therefore, if you are on your period or if you are sick and you really shouldn't or don't feel like working out you're not going to ruin all of your progress by taking care of your body and being more mindful with your nutrition and being more consistent with your workouts these are the sorts of things that 75 soft 
focuses on during its program, which allows it to be a less aggressive version, but still allows you to be able to have those healthy habits that you should be maintaining for the rest of your life. So why am I choosing 75 Soft? Well, I like a challenge. I'm also the type of person that likes to track and keep myself accountable, and this satisfies both. So I get to keep myself accountable by tracking my reading, my diet, water, things like that every day, as well as being able to choose my own adventure in a way that it allows for flexibility in the exercise program, what I get to eat. It's not going to tell me that I have to maintain a specific diet or that I have to walk for 45 minutes or an hour every day. I get to choose what I feel most comfortable with every day. So if I want to eat something in a specific diet, then then I can do that particular diet plan. If I want to bike one day, treadmill another, swim a another day, I can do that. I like the flexibility of being able to choose my own adventure with how I work out. I have an unusual style in how I work out. If you've been following along with my channel, you'll see some pretty interesting things on there. I've got some VR things that I play as well. Some very unusual types of activities for sure. So definitely not your standard type of just running or, you know, cycling. Definitely got some different types of things on there, which you may see throughout the 75 Soft Challenge. So stay tuned. <laughs> and I like the fact it's not telling you you need to do this or you need to eat that. Definitely the flexibility of this is something that I enjoy and that is appealing and probably is something that appeals to a lot of people. So when am I starting this? So I am going to start this on October 18th. It's 75 days and that means it runs till December 31st. Uh, October 18th is just after Hell Week. And Hell Week is, I explained in a different video, right after I have two birthdays with my children, an anniversary, and Canadian Thanksgiving. It is a very busy week in my yearly calendar. Lots of, quite frankly, garbage food. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be at my heaviest in this particular month. This is when I'm going to start it, right at the part where Hell Week is now done. This is where the unfortunate part comes in. On October 18th, I'm actually going away for the weekend with my husband to celebrate our 20th anniversary. So it is an unfortunate time to start it because we are starting it on the first day of our weekend away. Still going to be on track with my exercise. I planned it specifically so that there would be some activity on every day so I could get my steps in and get the 45 minutes of exercise in every day. Um, I'm bringing along a 64 ounce water jug so that I will get my hydration in. I'm even bringing a hardcover book with me. <laughs> so I am going to be staying on track during this time. I can get 10 minutes of reading in at some point. So even if it's like, you know, during a drive somewhere. So um, we're definitely going to be able to slip these things in here and there and get uh, what we need done done so that we can stay on track during this time and just fit it in where we can. <laughs> so because I will be starting this particular 75 soft challenge on a Friday when I'm going to be going away for my anniversary, the first three days of this challenge, so the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, will be its own little clip of the very first part of the challenge, which I probably will have quite a bit of footage because we're going to some very um, scenic places. So I'll probably have quite a bit of footage of stuff that I've been doing over the very, very beginning of the challenge. And I'll do a quick little video of the beginning of the 75 soft challenge. And then I'm going to be, which will, I'll include all the metrics and all that stuff as well. And then I'm going to start the actual weeks of the challenge on the following Monday. And that will lead all the way up till New Year's. So that's how this is going to run. And the little quick little three day video of me going away will have all of the metrics and starting data, as well as the first three days of the actual challenge itself. So stick around till after our little mini vacation and you're going to get all of the starting data, measurements, pictures, and all that, and some nice scenic pictures of where we went and what we did while on our 20th anniversary holiday. 
And until next time, stay amazing.